Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on lesson content. Got no place to be. Got no place to go. Come hang out with me on the Mr. Flanders Show. Top of the morning to you, everybody. Mr. Flanders here, and we are looking at our last Reading Mastery lesson for week seven of our curriculum. And today we are kicking off with story 90, Sid Worked in a Seed Shop. Now, a couple of reminders before we get started. A, as always, after I'm done reading the story to you, you are practicing reading the story at home, okay? I know it might be a little difficult for some of you, but I need you to try so you can make sure your skills are ready for when you move on to second grade, okay? And I also want you to remember, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay if you mess up on a word or you, you stutter on a syllable, uh, as long as you're trying, okay? Reading can be an incredibly fun uh, activity to do. And I get that sometimes it can also be a very frustrating activity to do. But the only way to get better at it is to just keep practicing, okay? And if you need any extra stuff, you know, extra videos or extra sight word cards or extra spelling words or something, please let me know because I want you to have fun with your reading because there's so much that can happen after you know how to read, okay? Um, you can read about new worlds, new, f new figures, new characters. Uh, it, it, there's, there's so many worlds that get unlocked once you start your, your journey with reading. And I want you guys to get so good at it. So make sure you're practicing, okay? And let me know if you need any extra help. But enough about the whole teacher rant about reading and whatnot. We're going to jump into story 90, Sid Worked in a Seed Shop. Okay, please follow along as I read out loud. And also, one gentle reminder, when you are practicing your reading at home, make sure you are using your finger, okay? I am using my pen as my pointer, and I know a lot of my friends often forget to use a, you know, either a pen, pencil, or their finger as a pointer. Right now, I'm telling you, though, make sure you're using this finger. It does more than pick your nose, guys. Come on. All right. Let's hop into it. Sid worked in a seed shop. Sid had a job. He worked in a seed shop. That shop had lots of little plants. The boss of the shop had a bad leg, so she walked with a cane. When she was not walking with her cane, she left her cane in a big can near the door. One day, the boss said, I must hop in the truck and go to the other side of town. You stay here and take care of the shop. So the boss got her cane from the can and went to the truck. When she got in her truck, she said, there is a pile of notes on the table. Take care of them. After the boss left, Sid went to the table and began to read those notes. Here is what one note said. Send 10 pine trees. But Sid did not read those words. Here is what he said. Said, <coughs> send 10 pin trees. Oh dear, see, pine, pin, that silent E at the end makes all the difference. Send 10 pin trees. Then he looked around the shop for pins. He stuck the pins in sticks. He made 10 little, pin, er, 10 little trees of pins. Then he said, I don't know what anybody wants with pin trees, but I will send them out. And he did. Then he picked up the next note. It said, fix the window pane. But here is what Sid said when he looked at the words. Fix the window pane. <sighs> See again, that silent E, guys. Oof. When that silent E is at the end, it makes this letter have the long sound. P -ain. Pain. But without the silent E, we've just got the little sound. P -an. 
pan. That's what's happening here. So fix the window pan. Sid looked around the shop for a window pan. He said, I can't see a window pan, so I'll make one. And he did. He made a big tin pan. He nailed it over the window. And he said to himself, I am doing a fine job. More to come. Goodness. Here is a picture of our friend Sid. Oh my goodness. Look at him. He's making the pin trees right now. That's what's happening. And there's the note. Send 10 pine trees. This is why reading is important, guys. He's not sending pine trees. He's sending pin trees. What is happening? Tom Fullery. And then look, look. You can even see the window pane right here. Look at this nonsense. Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right. Well, we're going to get the book out of here. We're going to start on our worksheet. Number 90, side 1. See, it says it right there. Worksheet 90, side 1. Okay. Here we go. Question 1. Who had a bad leg? The bum? Sid? The boss? Or nobody? Who had the bad leg? Think about who was using the cane to walk around the store and who would leave it by the front door in the can. Number 2. Where did the boss keep her cane? In a blank. Ooh, I think I just said the answer. And what's even crazier is number two just gave you the answer to number one. Oh my goodness. All right, but where did the boss keep her cane? In a car? In a can? In a cane? Or in a lake? Then number three, what did Sid try to read? Did he try to read a knots, notes, pans, or pains? What did he try to read? Okay, number four, one note said, send 10 blank trees, send 10 p blank trees. Think about what the note said to do, and you can even go and see it in the picture that we were just looking at, okay? So if you've got the uh, your packet in front of you, or if you're doing this in Google Classroom, pop back over there real quick. Take a look at that little note that's on the table. It will give you the answer. It says, send 10 blank trees. Number five, did Sid do that? Did Sid do what the note said? Okay, think about it. And then number six, Sid made 10 blank trees. And the word starts with p, it's p blank trees. What did he actually make? Okay, right here you have to decide, did he make pine trees or pin trees? Number seven. One note said, fix the window p blank. Fix the window p blank. And I'm going to give you a little hint right here. If you go back up to number three, you'll have actually a couple of the words there. So the note said, fix the window. Did it say pans or panes? Remember what that silent E does, okay? So did the note say, fix the window pans or fix the window panes? You tell me. <clears throat> and then number eight. But Sid made a window p blank. What did he make? Did he make a window pan or a window pane? And then, as we move on to our last question for the first half of our worksheet, number nine asks, was Sid doing a fine job? 
Now, he said he was doing a fine job, but was he doing a fine job? You tell me. While you're finishing that up, I'm going to move the worksheet up. Remember, no rush, as always. Take your time. Focus. Don't pick your nose. Okay, here we go. Five more seconds and we're moving on. All right. <clears throat> the deer on the hill felt happy. The deer on the hill felt happy. All right. So we know what we have to do with this, okay? Number one, two, and three give us directions to follow. We have to do these directions, these instructions, to complete our sentence here. So let's look at number one. Make a line over the words that tell where the deer is. I'm going to give you guys a hint, okay? You're going to be making a line somewhere in the middle of this sentence. In the middle. So this is the beginning or the start. This is the end, okay? The middle is somewhere around here, okay? And remember, if you're doing this in Google Classroom, all of your tools that you'll need are right in this area. Number two, circle the word that tells how the deer felt. Circle the word that tells how the deer felt. Okay, was the deer happy? Was he sad? Was he, uh, was he farty? Was he smelly? How did he feel? Circle lore that tells how the deer felt. Then number three, make an O under the word hill. Now that is super easy, okay? Here's the word hill. All you have to do is jump up into the sentence and figure out where the word hill is and make an O underneath it. Okay, as you are finishing up, I'm going to get a drink real quick because my throat is dry. Remember, there's no rush. Take your time, please. All right, let's go ahead and move on. <clears throat> the dog hid near the bed. The old man said, I see you there, there, there. You can't give me a scare, scare, scare. Oh, rhyming words, they sound the same. The dog had a mean mask. He jumped at the man. The man ran from the house. The dog said, yes, I can, can, can scare that man, man, man. Oof. A whole set of rhyming words in there. I love it. I love it. Now, before we move on, remember, the expectation is you are also reading this paragraph uh, out loud after we are done. I need you guys to practice with that. And I think the rhyming words here will really help you uh, fine tune your reading. Okay. All right. Number one. Who hid near the bed? Who hid near the bed? Number two. What did the dog have? What did the dog have?
Number three, did the dog scare the man? Did the dog scare the man? And then number four, the dog said, yes, I can, can, can scare that blank, blank, blank. Ooh, what did the dog say he could do? He could scare who? And that answer is going to be in that last sentence, okay? <clears throat> All right. As you are finishing that up, remember there's no rush. I'm going to go ahead and move up our worksheet though so we can get our last three questions up on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and post the picture from our book right there. Okay, number one. The note says send 10 blank blank. Okay, we've already looked at the note. I've already asked you to go back and look at the note. Tell me again, what does the note say? Okay. Note says send 10 blank blank. And number two, how many pin trees do you see? Now it's not asking about pine trees. It's asking about pin trees. How many pin trees do you see? And then number three, what is Sid holding? In our picture, what is Sid holding? All right, ladies and gents, that is about it for me. Uh, we are done with our week seven lessons for reading mastery. However, if you had any difficulty or questions or comments or concerns about the work this week or with this particular lesson, please do not hesitate to reach out to me on Class Dojo or Flipgrid. I would love to hear from you guys. Otherwise, continue to do the best work that you can possibly do. I am so happy with what I've been seeing. Uh, you guys, even though the situation's a little tricky, have been really putting forth a great effort. And I'm really, really proud of you. So good job there. Okay, uh, but yeah, I, uh, I will see you guys later though in our next lesson. Remember, we're moving into our next uh, week. We only have a few days this week. We're not doing a full week this week. So next week we will only have a couple of reading lessons rather than three reading lessons. Until next time, my friends, I will see you later. Stay strong, stay positive, and don't just use your finger to pick your nose. Use it to help you read.